What's good everybody, it's your boy Cito and I'm back again with another video. So today is the day that we start all of these build videos. Now, I'm doing this in hopes of helping you guys make your first ever 2K19 player build. Now hopefully my advice helps to keep this series going, to keep me actually motivated to keep bringing you these builds. I just need 50 likes on this video and more builds are coming probably tonight, probably tomorrow. I'm going to be giving you guys builds until the drop of the game. Today, we are talking about point guards. Looking at all of the point guard builds, one really stands out the most. If you guys want my top three, all you guys got to do is leave the comment top three down below in the comment section. And I might drop that top three point guard builds tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. But the one build that I want to talk to you guys about in this video is just something that's going to set you point guards apart now a few people might actually be using this build this year because there's really not too many point guard builds that actually stand out so if you want a point guard build that's going to be a scorer and that's going to also help his teammates on the court this is going to be the point guard build for you so make sure that you guys like this video and make sure if you are brand new to the channel Make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell. I have tons of videos coming out and they're all going to be in my NBA 2K19 builds playlist. So don't miss out. But enough of all this talking, let's go ahead and get right into this ultimate point guard build. Now, I must admit to you guys, there's really not a, not a, not a lot of selecting that you should be doing in the point guard category, but... This build might actually make you guys a little cheesy, a little unstoppable, as long as you create him right. And this is how you do it. So you guys already know that we are going to go for the point guard position. Now I had to stop and actually read what the point guard position states. Now it says that the one is the first player to touch the ball on a possession. Fast break, half court, run a play, run and gun. It all starts with the point guard. So when I think to myself, I'm like, bro, point guards, one, they got to be able to handle the rock. And two, they got to be able to score at will. I'm talking about like a Kyrie, like any of these three that you see right here. If they need to put the ball game in their own hands, they can freely do so. So this is what we are making for today's video. So now the next step is to choose our archetypes. What are the best archetypes that we can use as a point guard? That is going to put us in the position to just get buckets and just dominate our opponents. This is what I came up with. For our primary is shot creating and for our secondary is passing and ball handling. Now a lot of you guys are going to look at the Hall of Fame badges and be like, whoa, whoa, hold on. There is no Hall of Fame badges, but that's okay. We have 11 gold badges that I think that uh, you would kind of appreciate. We got seven silver badges. And I think that is what, six bronze badges? So looking at that, we are in good hands. Now this is just a list of the badges that you'll be able to get with this player bill. Now the gold badges are phenomenal. Of course you're gonna need that mid-range Deadeye because we're a shot creator. You'll also get the dimer. Yo, you're gonna be a scorer, all right? I got you, I got you, relax, relax. You're gonna be a scorer out here. You're gonna get buckets. You're gonna get your teammates open. It's gonna be hard to guard you. Now. When you look at all these badges, if you actually sit down and take the time to grind these badges out and you actually grind to be a 99, all these 11 gold badges will turn to Hall of Fame. 11 Hall of Fame badges, I'm not trying to see you at the court. Your boy Cino don't want no smoke. But looking at the stats on this dude, your mid-range are going to be great. Now the one thing that I love about shot creators this year is we all know it, is that the shot creators can actually shoot the three. Now you're going to give me a highly overall mid-range and then on top of that I can shoot the three? Bro, I'm out here cooking. I'm out here cooking. Now the passing and ball handling is going to be a little bit different. That's going to give you the speed, the ability to just blow by your opponent and all that. You're not going to reap the full benefits until you reach that 94 overall. Now when you hit that 94 overall and you get that takeover, bro, it's a GG. They're done. They're done. All ankles on the floor. All ankles is turning to dust. They turn into wine, whatever you want to turn them into, bro. Kool-Aid, it's up to you. But this is the build that is going to be the standout build for those point guard builds. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into the height. 
Now the hype matters this year, guys. So pay attention to the hype because it does, it, it, it messes with some stuff, all right? You got to kind of pay attention to what you want and what you can live without. So for this video, how I'm messing with everything, I'm kind of messing with anywhere between 6.5 and 6.4 kind of. If you guys want to be a little freaky deaky, y'all can get y'all can go ahead and get that 6-6. But I wouldn't encourage you guys to max out your height as a point guard. Last year that was the cheese. This year, especially with this build, not so much. Now for our next step, we are going to get into the weight. Now the weight is something that's been scaring the crap out of you guys from the previous 2Ks, bro. But I got you in this video. Now the weight is also very important. You got to figure out what you want to live with and what you can live without. Now I still want the speed with this build, so I'm not going to make them too heavy. I don't really need strength and I don't really need contact dunk because we're not a slasher. So I'm kind of feeling that 200 pounds on this player build. I'm not giving up too much speed and I'm not giving up too much lateral quickness. That's what I care about. So the next and final step is the wingspan. Something that we have all been discussing since what, 2K17? The wingspan is very important this year, guys. These are the things that you need to remember. The higher the wingspan, the better defender. The smaller the wingspan, the better scorer. Look at my open shot mid-range. I'm trying to be a mid-range assassin with this build. I need my I need my wingspan a little bit shorter because look at the little boost, the little green that we got right there. Doesn't really matter about the steal, the block slash shot contest. You're still going to be all right on defense. You might need a little bit of help, but it all comes down to how you play on defense. So if you're under the rim, you might get yammed on, but you got to do your best to make sure it doesn't even get to that. All right, just make sure that it don't even get to that. But as you see with the shorter arms, we do get a little boost in open shot three, and we also get a boost in that open shot mid-range. And then the two other things that I was about to leave out was the ball control. You'll be able to handle the ball a little bit better, and you also got the off the dribble mid-range slash three. Now the off the dribble mid-range is going to be your bread and butter with this shot creator. Your pull-up game is going to be strong this year. So find a pull-up jumper that you're going to enjoy, and you're going to take over. This is the build that I think that the point guards that use this build are going to get the most buckets. This, this is my opinion, but I think they're going to get the most buckets. Y'all let me know what y'all think down below in the comment section. I'm trying to hear what everybody has to say. I'm excited about this year. There's so many different builds that you can choose from, and I'm going to help you guys out in just dissecting every build that I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, 50 likes, and I got you with another build video. We're going to get into almost every single build, and I'm going to help you guys out. But before you leave, make sure that you guys follow me on Twitch. As soon as 2K19 actually releases, we're going to be streaming nonstop. We're going to be grinding together. I'm going to show you the best jump shots. I'm going to show you pretty much everything. You guys get to see everything firsthand on how I'm creating my player, how I'm finessing my player through the badges, and I, I got you guys. Trust me, I got you. But like always, if you guys are brand new to the channel and you guys want to keep up with the 2K19 content on this channel, all you guys gotta do is hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell. Many more videos are coming very soon, I promise. But thank you guys for watching this video, and until next time, it's been your boy, Sino, and I'm getting up out of here, man. Peace.